Australia's first airman to die in war has been remembered in Ballarat on the weekend. George Murs grew up in Ballarat before studying medicine and joining the forerunner of the RWF to fight in World War I. Age 23, the lieutenant was killed 100 years ago in the Middle East after an emergency landing. Flying by day, which was his main job in the war, but he was treating patients by night. And uh, so it was a really inspirational story. Tracy Smart travelled from Canberra for the service and will this year become the Surgeon General of the Australian Defence Force. It's hoped a Victorian research project into post-traumatic stress in return service personnel will be rolled out nationally by the end of a three-year trial. The state RSL president has acknowledged the importance of the work. The study into post-traumatic stress and return service men and women is well underway after the first ANZAC PhD scholarship was awarded to a South Australian student. We have seen a re-emergence of it with people returning from the Middle East, particularly after multiple rotations in Iraq and Afghanistan. One of the difficulties we face with post-traumatic stress disorder is those who suffer it quite frequently will not acknowledge that they are in fact suffering from that condition. The largest database of physical and mental health and well-being of military personnel is being used to identify patterns associated with trauma-related mental health symptoms which have happened over a five-year period. When you're constantly exposed to the threat and uh, the actions and operations that they've been involved in, it's uh, not unusual for them to have had some PTSD. While Australian Rotary Health has funded the first year of research, $60,000 will be raised over the next two years by Rotary and the RSL to support the pilot program, with hopes it will be rolled out nationally. Not everybody gets it, there's no doubt about that. Uh, and it's something that can be treated, provided it's early recognised. Sue Ann McComsty, Wind News.